Turning on DHCP snooping is going to be really important, not just for those attacks that are happening on your network from hackers, but also from things that if somebody accidentally set up a rogue DHCP server. Not only is it important to guard against these type of attacks, but it's also important to understand how to configure DHCP snooping because it gets into we're going to use that in other mitigation techniques as well, like dynamic ARP inspection. So let's go ahead and learn how to configure DHCP snooping on our devices. I'm on my switch to here and let's go ahead and learn about IP DHCP snooping commands. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to turn IP DHCP snooping on. So I do that by going, getting into the global configuration mode, typing in IP DHCP snooping and hitting enter. And now it's turned on. At this point in time, all the ports on the switch are untrusted. And so the problem with this is that no devices are gonna be able to send out or no ports are gonna be able to even accept DHCP server uh, messages. So that's gonna be a problem because none of my clients can receive those messages then. So what I can do is I'm going to open up or I'm gonna trust certain ports. And the, the ports that these messages could be coming in on is this port channel right here into the switch or this port channel right here into the switch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on on those two port channels I'm going to turn on the trust up to them. So I'm going to get into the interface of, let's do port uh, interface port channel, and then we'll one, and we'll do a IP DHCP snooping trust and hit enter. And now that port channel is trusted. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the second port channel here. So I'll do port channel two and hit enter, and then I'll trust it as well. So now that one is trusted as well. Uh, and then what I would wanna do is on my interfaces, so I might do a range of interfaces for this next one, I'm going to set up some rate limits so that way it, there's not too much DHCP messages that could come across those. So I'm gonna do a interface range and let's do FA 0, 1 through, uh, let's do 10. I might wanna, on an actual production, any of the access ports I might wanna set this up on, but we're just gonna do FA 0, 1 through 10. And so now I'm in the range and I can do an IP DHCP snooping limit rate. And then the we'll enter in the packets per second. How many packets per second that we're going to accept? So Cisco's recommendation is 100. So we'll do 100 uh, to start with and see how that works out. So and then we will do uh, exit out of there. And the last thing that we need to do is we need to turn this on per VLAN. So I'm going to do an IP DHCP snooping, and it's going to be for VLAN, and then list out the VLANs that we have. So I uh, will going to be 10, and actually I'll start out, well, I don't have nine coming across here. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 150 are the networks. So, and there might be some networks that I might not want to include in here. This is the management network. So I don't have DHCP running across any of that anyways. Um, so it's probably maybe a good thing that I turned it on on that. But um, so, the, you know, I may decide that there's some of these I want to turn on, some of these I don't need to turn them on. But for now, we'll just go ahead and enter in that and turn them on on all of those. And then let's do some show commands. So show IP DHCP snooping. And there we see some information about each one of those. It's they're rate limited and they're whether they're trusted or not. So we can go through here. We can see these, these ports right here being trusted. 
Uh, so yeah, so there's some information about the different ports on here. So next, what I can do is do a show IP DHCP snooping binding. This is that binding database, and you can see that it creates the MAC addresses, IP address, the lease time, the type, the VLAN, and the interface. So this is the information that goes into the binding database and then gets measured up against to make sure that those messages are legitimate. And once again, we'll be using those in some of the future uh, configurations that we do in the future. But um, there you have it. So there is just a, it, not too difficult to set this up. And once again, um, this is gonna be something that's gonna be important, not just for somebody who is attacking your network, but somebody could set up some equipment on your network, which would be handing out IP addresses, rogue IP, uh, DHCP servers, and they could be setting it up by accident, accidentally, and I've had that happen before.